video games. Some of the most popular video games took days, months, and even years to create. But can I, a mere Scratch programmer, make 10 of them in 10 minutes each? Well, I sure hope so, because I've already decided to do that in this video. This is a bad idea. Okay, we're going to start with Minecraft. Let's go. As soon as the timer started, I just grabbed a few essential blocks. While doing so, I knew that I had to make some compromises, as I couldn't make a full 3D Minecraft simulator. And that's when my inner scratch kicked in, and I started to make a platformer. Once I finished the platforming scripts, I made some art. Not my proudest work, but it'll do. Okay, I do not have a lot of time left. I spent my final few minutes working on a feature to pick up blocks, and with that, we have the completed game. Although this looks pretty bad, I can assure you, things only get better from here. The next game is going to be Mario. Yeah, Mario. And this time, I'm going to be much more careful and like more efficient with my time because last time I did pretty bad. So, okay, now let's start the timer. Since Mario is a platformer, I started making the platforming scripts. And unlike last time, I did this pretty swiftly, not wanting to waste any time. After finishing, I started making some art for the ground and Mario. Although you could argue that it's bad, your opinion does not matter and this is a beautiful piece of art. However, the game still felt pretty stale, so I added a Goomba. Again, this is a beautiful piece of art. With only a few minutes left, I made some levels and added scripts that would make the Goomba move. And by the time that the timer rang, I thought that I had made a masterpiece, but I had made one crucial mistake. Okay. So, when you play the first three levels, you get a decent game. But when you get to the fourth level, you see a huge problem. The level is impossible. My big brain thought it would be a good idea to make it so that the Goomba spawns right here on this level. <sighs> okay. On to the next game. Our third game is going to be Geometry Dash. And I think that now would be a good time to start our timer. I began by making our player in the basic jumping mechanics, nothing too special. And then I started working on the level. It was pretty annoying to make and used up a large chunk of my time, but oh well. Looks like we're running out of time. In my final few minutes, I did a few things. I added a script that kills the player, made more adjustments to the level, and added a windscreen. And that is the complete game. I definitely think that this was an improvement from the last two projects, as it actually feels like a game. The fourth game will be Flappy Bird. Okay, let's start the timer. I started this project by making the birds flapping mechanic, which was pretty simple to do. After that, I added pipes that you need to go through to gain points. Again, pretty simple. Finally, I made a score, which was very simple. That was basically the entire game, and I think I know the perfect word to sum up everything that I made. Simple. Okay, here is the game. Pretty self-explanatory, so let's move on to game five. I'm going to be completely honest. I have no idea what to do for game five. Wait, I think I have an idea. You know the piano tile game thingy? No? Okay. Well, I'm gonna make that. In three, two, one. As soon as the timer started, I created the art for the tiles and made four sprites for the four rows. I then spent the rest of my time painstakingly timing the piano tiles to appear at certain times and everything was a complete mess, so I really just want to move on to the next game, but I can't do that because I need to show you the end result. Yeah, not very impressive.
Okay, let's start game number six. I'm thinking of recreating Subway Surfers and hopefully nothing goes wrong. I guess we should just start the timer. When I started the timer, I did something pretty weird. I grabbed two blocks and called it a day. Huh? I don't know if this has something to do with my extremely tiny attention span, but I do know that the player art I made right after grabbing those two blocks was a masterpiece. After admiring my masterpiece for a few seconds, I began adding on to my two previous blocks, making player movement code. The final thing I did was adding these blocks that can kill the player. This is the complete game. The seventh game is going to be getting over it. And I actually have a really good idea. So first, we need to start the timer. And the second thing we need to do is remix this project. And we are done. This is the end result. The 8th game, the ninth game, and the 10th game were all cool games. The reason I'm not saying anything else about these games is because I wasn't recording while I made them. Oops. So let's just forget about that and pretend that didn't happen. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please consider subscribing.